सगले हम सीसीआर टीवी पोले नारायण माय मोगो योगा आज हम एक न्यू एपिसोड सुरू करता हूँ ऑन स्पोर्ट्स पुण हत वेगड़ो सा रहा आदल एपिसोडान स्पोर्ट्समेन तुम्हार मुखार दौले आज स्पोर्ट्समेन तुम फुडार खेतकोच रिटायर जो तो फुडार कितें कसो जो स्पेशल तुम्हारे मुखार वो एपिसोड हाड़ा हूँ तो हम बराबर आज आ बाब उदाव वेलिंगकर वो जो आसा पुने चो तो नाटेकार स्पोर्ट्स एंड फिटनेस हत काम करता मुद्दम तो आयला महती दिवक फ्यूचर ऑफ स्पोर्ट्समेन कसो ते प्लेन घन आसा तो प्लेन जो आसा सेकेंड इनिंग फर्स्ट इनिंग बराबर हेता तेना फर्स्ट इनिंग जो रिटायर जो तो फुडार कितें तसेज हम बराबर आ बाब एडवोकेट डॉमनिक परेरा वो कोलवाले वो जो आसा एग्जीक्यूटिव कमिटी मेम्बर गोवा फुटबॉल एसोसिशन तसोच कॉम्पिटिशन चेरमेन ये सगले पड़े कॉम्पिटिशन जता गोया ऑफिशियल कॉम्पिटिशन गोवा फुटबॉल एसोसिशन पड़े जता तो मेन हेड जबदारी आसा तो माय मोगो योगकार बाब उदाव आसोच बाब डॉमनिक थैंक यू थैंक यू यू हैव अ लॉन्च अ न्यू प्रोग्राम यस एंड एप्टली इट इज कॉल्ड सेकंड इनिंग यस कैन यू एक्सप्लेन टू अस व्हाट इज दिस कोनोटेशन सेकंड इनिंग सो बेसिकली फ्रॉम व्हाट वी हैव सीन राइट विद अ लॉट ऑफ द एथलीट्स दैट रिप्रेजेंट इंडिया और रिप्रेजेंट यू नो द नेशन और द स्टेट uh they start off from the ages of 7 or 6 and go on to play till 24 25 and so on they spend all of their life training and playing competition now what happens after they retire maybe it's because of injury or maybe naturally they decide to retire now because they have been training all their lives their education per se takes a back seat right they don't have that or they haven't been to school that often or they haven't done their degree programs because they've been so focused on sport and more often than not what happens here is is that these athletes after they retire don't know what to do next they don't get the opportunity to join say a corporate world or a tech industry or any other industry simply because they don't have the experience and they don't have the educational background it's an unfortunate truth दोतोर डॉमनिक आई इंटररप्ट यू जब तो ताने सांगला ते सारके आहा या इट इज वेरी मच ट्रू एज वी नो दैट स्पोर्ट्स इज इंजरी प्रोन द स्पैन ऑफ अ एथलीट इज आल्सो शॉर्ट सो आई गेस सो विद इन दैट अप टिल 35 आफ्टर दैट व्हाट यू हैव टू बी सिक्योर फॉर योरसेल्फ एंड आई थिंक सो दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ नाटेकर स्पोर्ट्स इज गोइंग टू हेल्प ट्रेनिंग Are retired footballers to groom them, to give them an opportunity to do something after retirement, so they can survive. In other words, once they opt out of football, absolutely, they have opportunities like to be coaches. Yes, many of them do take up yeah. that. Referees, I haven't seen many of the players uh, taking up to referee. Yes, but uh, they need some career to sustain themselves. They get married in between. so they have families yes. and somebody has to look yes. after yes yes so i think we need to complement uh, 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 the nadekar sports and fitness Absolutely. for this very concept that is to look after the future of uh, all sportsmen including footballers yes. in football doctor to ka dista football an to what problem ha problem is there like as you have said there are coaches but there is a huge pool of coaches and they don't have employment what is the point in just doing d uh, d license c license going up the grade they have to be opportunities also for that when you join as a sportsman you should know about the avenues okay and with this concept of training you it's going to help it's going to uh, uh, send a positive message to the parents like when i send my child into any sports something happens to him injury or something like that there is a second alternative is there 
and this concept will instill certain faith in the minds of the parents while promoting and sending their children into sports. I think you need now to elaborate exactly how you are going to go ahead with your program. Right. I think you have already been successful in several states. Um, well, we've just started, so uh, it's encouraging to see that we are getting a lot of registrations from athletes um, across India. So yes, the word has spread. Um, it is going to get successful. We are very confident of it. I would also like to add that this initiative is one that Natika Sports and Fitness has started with a company called Pine Labs, uh, which is a 20 plus uh, year old company. It's a merchant commerce company with a huge presence in Southeast Asia and uh, India. And uh, their founder also had a similar vision of doing something for ex-athletes, which was a very noble vision of his which matched our founder, Mr. Gaurav Nateka's vision as well. So it was just a, a case of two major forces joining hands and saying, you know what, let's do something for the athletes that have entertained us um, all their lives. And this is our little way of giving back to them. So to answer your question, uh, what Second Innings Initiative would do is we would take in registrations from athletes across India, any athletes, any discipline. So anybody can apply? Yes, but the athlete, there is a contingency here in the sense that the athlete should have played at a national level or an international level. That's the scope that we want to begin with because that's where we see a lot of disparity or a lot of yeah, athletes. So the preference will be? Right now, yes. yes. To begin with, we are looking but at But eventually, later on, I am sure you will come down. Yes. Eventually, as the demand for this increases and as we see more companies also coming in, um, you know, to promote this program, yes, I am sure we will be looking at Because I, I get a lot of uh, sports people in football, mostly. Right, right. Because the largest number of uh, sports in Goa is football. Correct. So they say, sir, we have done all, we gave everything for football and you all are not doing anything for us now. True. So I think eventually you will have to look into yes, also Yes, yes. We aspect. also would like to promote companies to, you know, open their doors to ex-athletes as well. You know, Pine Labs is the first one and this is a pioneering effort that has been uh, taken up by Pine Labs and Nautica Sports. Um, and I'm sure once, um, you know, with this, there will be a lot of trickle-down effect to follow with a lot of other companies. So, I, I, I apply online, right? Yes. I, I apply online. Yes. So, I get registered. All the details yes. are there. Yes. Then, uh, do I wait uh, indefinitely? I have sent my name. Nothing is happening. No. So, what happens is we give it a timeline. Uh, we are going to give it a timeline till, say, mid-April uh, for registrations to come in. Once that timeline window shuts, um, depending on the number of registrations we have, we will shortlist batches of 10, right? And the first batch of 10 will be trained, will be selected to be trained and given a skilling program, three, four month skilling program. So, so it entails training and skilling? Yes, training and skilling, uh, which will be done by Pine Labs and Nutacre Sports because Pine Labs will be taking these out of these 10 athletes, they will be taking a few into their company as well. So the training... So the employment is almost a guarantee? It is almost a guarantee. It would depend on, you know, the training and skilling that they undergo, you know, what their um, areas of expertise are, what their areas of liking are. So they'll be trained in avenues such as finance, management, tech support, operations, and many others, which are very, very essential to a company like Pine Labs. So once they are trained and skilled in these areas and they show that progress as well, which will be over a three, four months. So period. it all depends on uh, the person who is coming to you. Yes, yes. So if he is ready to accept yes. and develops his skills, there is a bright scope. It is a very bright scope. It is a very bright scope. And that is what we encourage these athletes to do as well, to register without having any kind of fear. So uh, that means uh, it will entail uh, the description of the person and finding out of uh, his positive uh, things so, and where he could fit. Yes, so the registration form that we have is very self-explanatory. It carries all data related to their personal details and also the avenues of employment that they generally like to be in. So whether if they'd like to be in finance or operations, they can they have that option to select okay. that. Okay. So we automatically know what this athlete is interested in what his interests are when it comes to a job or finding a job. So he's trained and skilled accordingly. He or she is trained and skilled accordingly. 
okay. in that area and what do you say uh, advocate i think this is a very positive way forward and this will really encourage our uh, especially footballers and maybe coaches also who are in search of employment or some avenues to gain uh, proper employment so so you, you think this is a need of the hour definitely a need of the hour and i would like to give a simple example uh, wherein i read one northeast uh, state has given a status to sports as an in industry this is the way forward i guess so this is the way forward and uh, for for a small state like goa we could be a role model for many other states in india what do you i agree i think um, the status of sport as an industry is um, is very critical and i think it is the need of the hour with efforts being now made by the center also to promote olympics or india hosting the olympics in the near future i think this would be a good first step and yes i believe with initiatives like this for you know the betterment of athletes um you know across goa whether whatever their discipline whatever sport they have played in um i think yes this is the way forward so in uh, other words you will have to have a licensing with the industries now for go it will be goa based industries not necessarily okay. so um one of the registration or one of the requirements here in the registration form also is whether the athlete or the participant is ready to move to another state okay. or to another city okay. for employment because we see that also we've seen that athletes you know uh, pan india in different states are willing to move out of their comfort zone to in order to get say a better lifestyle or better job and for an athlete with his training you know moving out of a of his or her comfort zone is very very natural for them right it's something that they that they've trained to do all their life you know so we foresee that it shouldn't be too difficult if they believe in themselves and if they really really want that opportunity they'll be able to move out of their comfort zone and select a city to replace also or relocate also now also now in football for example cricket also there are all professional uh, teams yeah and when you say professional there are lot of options and opportunities available will you also look into this areas um we wouldn't be looking into the sports space per se because this uh, essentially is to allow athletes or participant interested athletes and participants to make a successful transition into another industry altogether okay, okay so whether it's it's the tech industry whether it's the um, corporate industry that is the transition because that's where most of your jobs most of your um, chances to grow also are as part of a second innings that's why we are calling it the second inning because it's an altogether new chapter which is not related to their old chapter okay okay you know so so, so th this is a, a new thought process yes to just we, basically yeah. ensure that they transition yeah, we and, help and them you are looking for giving them full time employment yes yes so which is much more important yes yes what well, what do you say uh, advocate uh, dominic yeah the, uh, as i have said this concept is a novel concept at, at least for goa at the moment and uh, i feel footballers retired footballers should take uh, opportunity of this and apply there's nothing uh, bad to try you have to try and we are with this scenario in the pandemic pandemic there we are i feel many coaches who are on temporary basis have lost their employment they want to do something but they are not able to do it because of the various restrictions uh, and most basically there is no agency exactly so i think you are filling uh, the most important yes, void yes that's that's yeah. the uh, thing i would like to add to uh, advocate sir's um, um, message here also in saying that we leave this open for all athletes also footballers yes because uh, you know 80% i would say of goa's yeah. sporting culture is yeah, football yeah, yeah. uh but yes there are a lot of other athletes in uh, the nooks and corners of goa Uh, who have done well for themselves in their respective sporting fields and this opportunity is open for all it's very easy to access um, you know our website i'm sure there'll be a link that will be provided um, you know to go online register registration also is very easy and once the database is with us it's only a matter of time before we select you know before we um, decide what batches each athlete fits can you can you uh, share with us your uh, uh, email address 
I will share. Um, so can, my can, the, can, can, can you? the email address is Uddhav. Uh, that's U D D H A V. Yeah. At natekarsports dot com. Okay, it's very simple. It's very simple. Can you repeat it once again? It's Uddhav. Uh, that's U D D H A V. At natekarsports dot com. So they just just log in and. Uh, no, so the logging in is on the Pine Labs website where they can go online. They can click on the link. The registration form comes up. There are a few FAQs also in case they have certain initial queries and questions. Yes. They can get those answered with our FAQs as well. And they can just begin the registration process. It's a very simple form. It's not complicated. We've kept it. Yeah, very because simple. for for the sportsmen, yes. and especially footballers. Yes. You know, they, they don't have a correct. high qualification. Correct. Correct. And if it is complicated. Correct. It's not worth. The only complicated thing I can say would prob probably be uh, that they will have to upload some of their certificates that they have. But I'm I'm sure that's a matter of pride yeah. for them also to. There will be somebody show. always to. Yes. Help them. No, that's it's that. a matter of pride for them to show that okay, I've played at a certain level. This is my achievement. You know, or part of my achievement, and that's also what we want to bring out uh, from the athlete as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, have you already launched this? Yeah. Yes, this initiative was launched uh, in February and uh, we already have quite a few registrations that have come in from other states, um, you know, a lot from Kerala, from the Northeast, from the West, from across India actually and in different disciplines which is very encouraging to see. So word has spread about this program across India and uh, we are getting those registrations and we're just excited to see what happens next. And when you talk about the training, the training will be imparted at a specific place or? No, so the training will be divided into two parts. A lot of it will be online training, uh, okay. which okay. becomes easier so that the athlete doesn't have to move out immediately. Um, all he needs is a computer or an access to a phone or computer and they undergo a lot of their training online. And yes, there will be some training that will be imparted offline as well, which would mean they would have to go to a location of um, what Pine Labs chooses, uh, Pine Labs and Natika Sports choose. And they will be given a lot of uh, specific training there, uh, role specific training as we say there. So they're both important modules, they're both essential. Um, and so we want to bring out the best of both these training. And when you talk about Pine Labs, uh, could you tell us a little bit about so Pine Labs is a merchant commerce company uh, which offers a wide range of payment and financial based services to merchants and vendors um, you know to ease out their financial transactions uh, you know it it's it's a completely cloud computing based technology that they use to make sure that um, any payment financial transactions are made easy all data is stored into one um, uh, you know in, in, into one unit per se which just makes it very, very convenient for um, any vendor or any merchant to use these services. So, so they, are, they are linked uh, very well with the industry. They link very well with every industry. So every industry needs payment or financial services and transactions. Okay. And, and they have leverage with uh, these companies. Yes. So they have these leverage, of course, with companies. They're a very big company with a big um, base of operations in Southeast Asia as well, apart from India. Okay. So they are one of the leading companies um, in the... So that means there could even be a scope uh, to move into some of the countries of uh, Asia. It's possible. Um, that would depend on, you know, d depend on their requirements. But um, I, <laughs> I would not guarantee that or no, get their hopes I, up too much. Uh, uh, it's it's a, it's a possibility. Yeah, it's yeah, a possibility. Yeah, if you are very smart, intelligent, you have got all the necessary qualifications. And sure, I think I think maybe once they start here and when they grow within the organization, maybe that would be because a possibility. Uh, people normally prefer to employ sportsmen because they go by the rule. And right. They know that on the field of play, it's either the yellow card or the red card. And unlike the politicians, they believe that uh, they have to follow uh, the norms and the rules. Do you agree, uh, uh, Advocate Dominic? Yeah, discipline is a very important thing in life. In fact, anything you do, you have to be disciplined. You have to have foresight. And you have to be within the rules. So, so I think uh, this is an excellent uh, idea. What made uh, both of you to launch the second inning? So, as I mentioned, um, it was the founders of um, Pine Labs and Natika Sports and Fitness, um, the uh, founder of Pine Lab, Mr. Amrish Rao. 
and uh, Mr. Gaurav Natekar, who is an Arjuna Awardee himself, uh, represented India in tennis as an Asian Games gold medalist. Okay. Uh, uh, so they had this vision, respectively, uh, about doing something for uh, retired athletes. And because we see a lot of the athletes out there today who are retired, not finding proper, uh, you know, haven't made that transition uh, into, say, a successful business or business or into another industry per se. And um, we just felt that bridging that gap uh, was the need of the hour, considering only uh, the cream of the athletes like who, like you mentioned, who have participated in the Olympics or so, are ones that get jobs. But a lot of the pyramid of athletes that you know have not made it at that level, but have made it at a certain level, um, are often left by the wayside. So this is that opportunity so we wanted filling, to. Uh, yes. the most important gap. If yes, you ask. yes. We wanted to bridge that gap and provide these athletes basically an equal opportunity as anyone else to, you know, find an employment or find employment in an organization and equal opportunity to grow. Once they get into the company, how they grow, what they do is completely on it's them. It's with them. It's yes. with them. Yes. Uh, Goa being uh, football centric, do you think uh, this will make an impact? for the retired uh, footballers? It can make a huge impact. It can really make a huge impact. If there are too many footballers from Goa, will you consider them or you say there are too many? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we would consider all of them. Uh, con when I say consider, we will definitely have their applications. Yes. But like I said, we'll have to maybe make, we'll have to make batches of five to ten athletes per yeah. se. Yeah. And um, depending on the requirement of companies, they would be filled in accordingly. But yes, we are finding a lot of traction with a lot of companies that have shown us interest, have shown an interest in this also. And um, yes, the athlete, all we require from the athlete is to bring in what they have learned all their life, which is the hard work, the perseverance, uh, you know, the never say die attitude, the discipline into their new role as well. And I'm sure they'll succeed. Uh, uh, will you also get uh, with the hospitality industry? Maybe, maybe if no, the hospitality. Uh, why I'm saying that because Goa is having a lot of uh, uh, right. hotels, uh, resorts, and all that, right. and the scope there could have been still bigger. Very much so. Uh, we would, we would then also would like these hospitality industries or these hospitality um, companies to, you know, approach us or to inform us of any kind of you know an opening or something that is there or uh, you know if they have any requirements with regards to hiring people or hiring ex athletes as part of the initiative also we'd be happy to listen to them and listen to see uh, what they have uh dr dominic uh, do you think that the goa football association would uh, definitely back up uh, this uh, program of theirs we should we we really have to back back this up and the GFA as a whole has to support this concept. It can definitely become a huge success. Because uh, so far, there has, uh, except for in indigenous conditions, they get some amount per month. But I think that is very meager amount. Giving them an employment, I think uh, it opens a new vision. Yes, and that is exactly what what our aim is also to, you know, provide employment opportunities to them. Uh, give them the chance to register, give them the chance to know that there is something out there for them that could enhance their lives also uh, post-retirement, uh, which could then sustain them and their families, uh, you know, should they choose to. And okay, Dominic, would you like to send a message to the veterans who may be wanting to join them? Yeah, I would say veterans can be role models. And they are the role models for footballers. The Estaya generation of footballers in Goa, they had a different sort of passion. The passion is slightly come down a lot now, but I'll, I think so it will pick up. I put it this way, I have a role model. I see a sportsman. I follow him. Same sportsman post his retirement. I should see him still continuing and doing better and having a good living. That will even uh, send a message to the parents that they should push their children into this. It's not like only sports after sports, that's the end of it. 
when no, we no, see normally after sport they are left to fend for themselves yes in goa at least i find very few uh, sports persons who are balanced in sports as well as education yes and <laughs> that's why the parents have a tricky decision to take at a certain point of time i would say talent wise up till a certain age we are with the best in the entire world but after a certain this there is a bridge which we have to fill in and uh, uh, udav your message my message to all athletes and participants who are interested in this program and who believe that they want to maybe move out of the sports industry post retirement and into another industry i'm sure there will be a lot of um, uh, a lot of maybe not fear but um, uh, some some questions queries uh, with regards to the validity of this program what i would suggest um, and urge rather all athletes to do is is to register get a part be a part of this program if there are any questions queries we have open lines of communication also which will also be shared with you uh, please feel free to drop in an email and uh, you know we are happy to answer all queries but register because this is an opportunity this is a pioneering opportunity it's uh, something like this that has happened for the first time so i urge all athletes to take full advantage of it and register it's a new mission i i must say that you are venturing yes and this is for the benefit of humanity especially the retired sports people yes sir may god bless you thank you uh, thank you so much venture and we need uh, your support uh, especially where footballers are concerned in this state of goa where football is the official game. definitely we'll try our level best to spread this message around and also explain whatever we can it, uh, to improve the the life of sportsman thank you advocate dominic and thank you udav for thank being you. with us uh, cr tv uh, yeah. and we'll uh, keep in uh, touch with you and see how the progress yes, goes yes yes thank, sure. thank you very much thank you devara karo tumka